Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make a match 3 game using Wade. So the first thing we need to do is navigate to clockworkchili.com forward slash Wade. We'll just give that a second to load. We want to skip tutorials and we'll create a new project, call it match 3. And I'm just going to full screen this so we've got a bit more room. So the first thing we need to do is add the match three files to our project. So we go up to here, game making tools, and we click match three tool, and this says it'll just add two scripts. That's fine, so we just go ahead and click OK. Now this brings up the match three editor, and you've got a lot of options here, but before we look at any of those, I'm just going to add some sample assets that are a bit more interesting, so we can really see what functionality this has got. So I'm just going to go click this plus, Click OK, and there we go. That's added some nice sample assets that we provide you. You can use for whatever you want. And if you see, we just scroll these around. You've got the basic match three functionality. Special things happen if you make matches of four, or if you make a match of five, you get the chili, which does that. Removes all objects of a given type. So pretty standard, nice, easy way to add match three functionality to whatever your project is. And most of these fields update in real time, so if we want more columns, we just put it up by one and it instantly takes effect. And likewise with rows. Cool. You can change the size of the images, the margins, the gravity is the speed they fall, but I'm going to leave that as it is. Sparkle is my favorite one. It just increases the rate that the gems sparkle. 100 is quite nice, but a bit distracting. I think that's why I have it set very low. And if you put it up to 10, you get just crazy levels of sparkling. You can set a score, that's how many points you get um, per item removed. And um, of course you could change this by modifying the scripts yourself, which we'll look at briefly, but I don't really want to go too much into that. Now we have our assets here, we've got the chance that they'll appear. And this is out of 100, so there's a 1 in 4 chance each of these will appear, so it should be pretty balanced. Now these text fields, at the moment they're set to sprites. You can actually make a scene object and provide a scene object name here and that would be useful if you wanted an animation or some cleverer effects. So you can do that with images and special. And you can also remove them, so I'm actually going to remove the blue just to show you again, it updates in real time. And with fewer items the game is a lot easier. We get these special things more often. Excellent. So if we scroll down a bit, ex effects here, you see we've got explosion effect, that's when I make a match for, if I try and do it. There you saw it happen there by accident. Splash effect happens when things are removed, so you can see going all crazy. And there's a few others there. Now these are scene objects. When I clicked this button, it actually added scene objects to your scene, so we've got splash, explosion effect, beam. But you can make your own objects and replace these. So if we go down further, we've got sounds now, hopefully, you should not be hearing these sounds. I've disabled the hardware recording for audio on this video because it would be very distracting if I'm speaking to you and there's explosions going off in the background. Uh, score text, you can define a text sprite um, for what you want. I think you put it on a scene object and then pass the scene object name again, but that's not really that useful and the default one's okay. But if you want to change the text, you can do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And when I do that, it generates a preview image of our game. We have that here. And if we want to go back to the editor there, we can click Behaviors, Edit Match 3. So now we are back in here. It's all looking pretty, so we can change it however we want. And it works just nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to save that. Now, one more thing we can do. If you want to add some custom functionality, you could go into match3 here, or match3item.js. I think I'll go into match3. And this is the core behavior file, so you could modify this to do whatever you want. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example. I'm pretty sure there's a game over in here. Yes, there is. So say you wanted to trigger something in the main app.js file that you create. Maybe you declared a global function. You could just do wade app.yourfunction. Oops, sorry. 
and that may say clear the screen or do whatever. It would be quite simple, so you can just add code to this wherever you want. But for now, I'm going to leave it like that. So there you are, that's how you create a match three game using Wade. It's very simple, you just get the tools, get the match three tools. If you want to add it to another scene object, you can create one and just add the behavior manually. Match three, edit match three, and you can do what you want. So if I decide I want one procedural image for whatever reason, procedural square, I can go ahead and do that. Of course it doesn't look very good like that, so we probably won't do that, but just an example, you can pass whatever sprite in you want. So hopefully we will see a lot more Match 3 games in the future, and I hope this is useful. Thanks for watching.